welcome back to my channel. Today I am barefaced and that is because I'm going to be trying out a bunch of different really expensive high-end products. Ooh! Not all of these are new to me, but a lot of them are. Some of them I've never tried before. I got a good handful of these from Octoly, which this is not sponsored by Octoly, but if you don't know what Octoly is, it is a website that influencers can use to kind of trade product for reviews. So if you have any sort of Instagram following or Twitter, I think, or YouTube following, you could use it as well. So I will have it linked down below, but it's just basically trading reviews for products and it's your honest reviews and I love it because a lot of high-end expensive stuff is on there that I wouldn't normally pay for so it's a way for me to kind of try it out and share my experience with you guys to let you guys know if something is worth the money or not so it's kind of a win-win situation and it's just it's been fun to try different brands like a lot of this is Dior which like I would never buy myself so yeah I'm just gonna get started of course by clipping the hair back and I should also preface this by saying if you're new I am not a makeup artist I have no idea idea what I'm doing like barely at all so don't be expecting perfection except this hair is perfect this is how I throw my hair back every day to do my makeup <laughs> and it look crazy but it's fine so I'm gonna start off by using my Smashbox photo finish primer water which is not new to me it is I guess on the expensive side this full size is $32 it does last me a really long time I'd say this has lasted me like six months and I use it pretty much every, well whenever I do my makeup I am running low on it and I will totally repurchase it so I'm just gonna spritz this all over my face Oh, it just feels so good, especially in like the hot summer months. It's the best. I also have it in travel size, which will definitely be coming with me to North Carolina and Tokyo. But also I'm running out of that. Maybe I should pick up another one. Whoops. This hair will not do. There, we'll do it that way. I forgot my fan today. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let that dry. Oh, while it's drying, I forgot to mention, I started out with this Ole Henriksen Nurture Me Moisturizing Cream, which I also got from Octoly. This is a really nice moisturizer. It's in a really cute packaging. And I've heard a lot of good things about the Ole Henriksen. I think I'm saying that right. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about that brand. This is really moisturizing and I like it. The only thing for me is the smell. It smells like bubble gum and I hate the smell of bubble gum. It's not too heavy, which I like. It says it can be used in the AM or the PM. I would use it in the PM because there's no SP in it and I like my morning moisturizer to have SPF um, but this is heavy enough for me at night which I like something like I don't know some moisturizers just don't cut it for me for a nighttime moisturizer because I like to go to bed like really knowing I'm gonna wake up with moisturized skin but I think this would do the cut I just can't do the smell so I feel like I'm sleeping at my teeth oh, I have a mirror here oh my god I do not the tooth I was expecting glad I caught that <laughs> okay so now I'm going to go in with this which I totally love which I hate that I love it because it's so expensive this is the Dior dream skin advanced capture total it's basically a primer I had no idea how to use this so I looked it up on the website and it basically said use this as the last step of your skincare routine before your makeup so I took it kind of like as a primer slash skincare serum step and it's really nice it comes out kind of like this pink color but once you get it on your face it has no color to it at all and it just makes everything look so good it does have a bit of an alcohol smell to it but not like i think it's an alcohol smell that's how like faint it is it just kind of smells like something that you know is doing wonders for your skin if that makes any sense <laughs> so i've been loving this i've been using this for about a month really testing it out to see if i love it and i do it's 115 dollars which is devastating i don't think it's something you need to run out and buy i think i have other primers that are kind of similar so i would hold off on running out to buy this but for now i'm really really enjoying it just makes your skin like really smooth and it just feels good it doesn't break me out and it's just it's really nice so okay so i've been putting that on and then I would normally at this step go in with my milk makeup blur stick which I think is incredible I've mentioned this in my last favorites video it's literally insane but today I'm finally gonna be trying the new benefit the professional pore minimizing makeup you guys know that I love the benefit professional primer and yeah today I'm gonna be using the makeup I have the color I have no idea it doesn't say I think I have the color light or fair something along those lines it has a sponge okay sorry I'm just not I haven't played with this at all it has a sponge on the bottom which I honestly probably won't use that's just too small for my liking maybe to push it in right there where my pores are though but then you open it here and then there's this button that says press <gasps> did you see that <gasps> that's nuts oh it's very liquidy that is really cool packaging the way that shoots out like that. Okay, I'm gonna put this on with my beauty sponge. This is not expensive at all. This is the Morphe Flawless Sponge. Okay, sorry, I just went for it. <laughs> I 
should have zoomed you in. It's actually doing a pretty good job so far. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. I feel like you're too far away. Okay, that's a little bit better. But this is doing a pretty good job so far, I'm not gonna lie. And the color match is really, really good. I'm usually, with benefit, like I don't know what I am, but whatever I picked, I picked good. I got this with Birchbox Plant a while ago. I can't believe I haven't tried it till now. I am getting some more here. It's so cool, but can you see how runny that is? Ah! Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. Just gonna continue to buff this in. And yeah, I like to kind of push it in into wherever, whenever I'm using like a pore minimizing product, I like to push it in. I find that it helps, you know, get it into your pores. But regardless of that, so far this is a nice foundation. Take it down the neck, but it's a nice color match, don't you think? Dude, you guys, this stuff is pretty good. <laughs> Obviously, I want to try it some more before I, like, tell you yay or nay. But, like, damn! No, actually, I say yay. This is nuts. And the back... Oh, my God, I got foundation in my hair! How did that happen? <laughs> oh, no. The back of the bottle said to, for the best results, use the professional primer first. But I didn't want to. I wanted to see how it worked on its own, and I'm really happy I did because, like, this looks great. I mean, we'll see how it lasts throughout the day and if it creases or anything and I'll get back to you. But dude, I am really liking that and I might take that on vacation. Wow. Okay. Great. <laughs> Did I mention how cute the packaging is? I love the little like, pink little stripes. But um, yay, I'm really excited about that. Now I'm going to be taking this Touche Clot Radiant Touch by Yves Saint Laurent Beauty. I've talked about this before, but I used this in the past and I didn't like it. But then I saw it on Octoly and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it again. I've already reviewed this, I really like it. It's really expensive, I think it's like $42, which I don't know if I would recommend it for that much money, but it is really nice. And I have the shade um, one or something. None of these things say the shade names or numbers, but I'm just gonna kind of use this to like highlight slash conceal using the viewfinder as a mirror. Then I'm gonna go back in with that sponge and just blend everything out. But I do think this is a really nice like under eye brightener slash concealer. It doesn't crease and it just everything looks really like flawless and bright, I guess. I don't have a crazy expensive powder to use today, so I'm just going to be using my Lorac Pro Contour Palette. Um, when I set my under eyes, I use a mixture of these two colors. You can tell I like that one because I use it quite a bit. The yellow is a little bit too yellow for me, so I do mix heavily with um, the beige one. And I just kind of dip my brush back and forth, and then I stamp it in because I will crease under my eyes. And I try to set the top of my eye as well if I'm doing any shadow, which I think I will try some shadow today. I don't have any new expensive shadows, but I have a ton of expensive shadows in my drawer. We'll just take a pick. <laughs> and I also set my chin. I also tend to crease around my nose, so I try to get in there. <laughs> and my mustache, because I always sweat first in my mustache. I'm so cute. Dude, I really like this foundation. Uh, that's nuts. I can't believe I've had that in my drawer for so long and I haven't tried it. And by the way, I was using the Sigma Concealer Blend Kabuki F79. I'll have a whole brushes section down below in the description if you want to know what brushes I used in case I forget to say it. Now I'm going to bronze and I've had this for a while and I have used it before but I can't believe I haven't been using it like every day. This is the Mark. Jacob's Tantastic Omega Bronze Coconut Perfect Tan. This is the limited edition white packaging Markup Jacob's bronzer. Markup? I said Markup Jacob's. Mark Jacobs. And when I first unboxed this, I said it's really nice because it's not super like orangey warm and it's not too cool. It's like somewhere right in the middle and it's beautiful. So I'm gonna try that. And I'm gonna use it with the brush they sent over with it as well. This is the Mark Jacobs, the bronze brush, which I know I love, but this is in the white packaging. I'm just going to dip in here. The bronzer is $49, but you are getting a huge amount of product. And then the brush is like $80, but in my opinion, totally worth it. So here we go. Oh, it's so nice. And seriously, Marc Jacob powders, I say it all the time, they just blend out so nicely. I thought I turned that off. Oh my God. Like if you put on too much product and then you need to blend it back out, it will allow you to do so. It's so blendable and nice and I love these powders. Get around my hairline. And this bronzer smells like um, coconut, kind of like the butter bronzer. I think they're a bit of a different shade though. The butter bronzer has a little bit of a sheen to it. This one does not, not that I can tell anyway. So lovely. I feel like my bronzer's a little bit heavier on that side, so we gotta even it out. I don't think I'm 
bit of contour today either. I'm just gonna leave it as is because that's really pretty and I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna really quickly do my brows. I don't have anything fancy to use, so I will be right back. I'm gonna use my normal brow products, which is the Anastasia Brow Wiz, so I'll be right back. Okay, brows are done. Look a little crazy with nothing else on, but we'll put on my eyeshadow and mascara and it'll look better. So I am taking, I think, the most expensive eyeshadow palette I own, and this is the Marc Jacobs The Free Spirit Style Icon number 20. I think this may have been um, limited edition, I'm not positive, but it's really beautiful. Um, it's more kind of like fall, but I'll, I'll just do something light with some of the lighter colors and maybe one of the shimmer colors. I'm just gonna bring my whole brush thing over here. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this lightest shade right here. Kind of just go into the crease, kind of all over, just to kind of get a base going. I love this eyeshadow palette. This is not a stranger to me. What if we got daring and used this like really shimmery, not really shimmery, but actually really shimmery purple. Let's do it. Why not? I might ruin this whole makeup look, but we're gonna try. Then I'm gonna go in with this kind of more um, mauve color. It's really pretty. Again, just kind of defining my crease. This is kind of all of my eyeshadow looks. I just kind of build up the crease and then the darker outer corner and then that's usually pretty much it. <laughs> I'm really not too fancy with my eyeshadow, guys. Ugh, the damn text message on the computer. I'm so sorry. It's a really pretty color. Now I'm gonna darken it up just a bit with this matte kind of, it's not even dark, but it's just a nice matte brown shade. Seriously, these eyeshadows are so freaking nice. Okay, now we're gonna get brave and we're gonna use this purple shade. Look at it. It's so vibrant. Oh, but it might like blend out really nicely. Okay, we're just gonna go for it. May I'm having to build it up a little bit, but it's really nice. A little bit of fallout, but we can dust that away. I'm gonna go back in with this mauve shade and just kind of go over it because it went up a little bit too high. Just kind of blend it out. I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth until I get a desired look. I'm also gonna go back in again and darken up the outer corner. Where did I put my brush? Okay, now I'm gonna attempt to do the other eye. Okay, so other eye done. It kind of turned into like this purpley, smoky situation. I kind of like it. It's very different for me. I don't wear purple eyeshadow very often. But now I'm gonna go with mascara. I just curled my lashes. I'm gonna be using Dior Dior Show Blackout Mascara. I'm fully expecting to hate this um, because I hate everything that's not the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. So <laughs> that's that. Here's what the brush looks. It's very big. I'm kind of scared now. Oh, there's a bug. That scared me. Okay, anyway. So now I'm just going to coat my lashes. Oh wow. It's not clumping yet, which is nice. Using new mascaras is always so scary because that's when I poke myself in the eye because I'm like not used to the length of the wand or anything. This brush, for my taste, is a little bit too big because I can't really like get into the corner like I would want. And it's a very wet mascara, which mm, I don't know if I love that. Because now we've started to clump. Okay, so that mascara is not my favorite. It's too wet for my taste. And it's just like after, I like to do a, a few like coats to get things like even and coated and it's just too wet. It's just not my fave. So moving on, I think I'm gonna maybe put a little bit of shadow under my eye. I'm gonna use this Real Techniques Point Extra Extra Small brush. I'm gonna go in with that like matte brown color that I did on the top lid. Just a little on like the outer half. Which I never do. But I like this shade, it's really pretty. I like that shade down there, that's pretty. And I am going to put a little bit of bottom mascara on. But I'm not using that DR mascara, I'm going to use my CoverGirl Clump Crusher. <laughs> you can take the girl out of Target, but you can't take the Target out of the girl. Okay, now we're going to do blush and highlight, which I don't have a new blush that I haven't used before, but I am going to use my Marc Jacobs blush that I love. This is the Air Blush in Flesh and Fantasy. That's a mouthful. But it's this really beautiful mauve blush, and since I put, like, heavy purple on my eyes. And I'm just going to use this Sigma Duo Fiber Powder Blush Brush. Kind of swirl it all around to get a mix of all those colors, and then just apply. 
I love this brush for applying blush. Again, a hard sentence. And as you can see, it's just a really nice mauve color with a little bit of a sheen, but not too much, because I am gonna go in with a very expensive highlight. But this, like, last fall, I did not put this down until I discovered the butter blushes. It's just a beautiful everyday blush shade. A little bit of chapstick before we continue, because I am gonna use a lip product, and I don't want my lips to be super chapped. Now I'm going in with this Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer in the shade 003. I'm not sure which one that was. It had a name. I got this off of Octoly as well. And it is a beautiful highlight. It has beautiful packaging that's gonna blind you. Comes with a little velvet pouch. I saw Jessica Braun rave about this and she mentioned she got it on Octoly so I immediately went on and requested it and they said yes and I was like, yay! She raved about it. I don't know if I feel as excited about it as she does because literally I cannot stop using my Kylie Jenner um, Cosmetics Kylighter. But this is really nice and I feel like this looks really nice on camera. It is $56 so I don't know if it's like worth that much. I'm just gonna put a little bit under my brow since I didn't highlight that. Um, but it is really pretty and this is the kind of highlight color that I like. Um, I like it on the tip of my nose. It's just kind of like golden champagne, maybe a little bit peachy. And it's just really pretty as you can see. And of course my studio lights help a lot but oh, it is really nice. And then so things don't look too intense, I like to go over it with my damp beauty sponge. It just kind of makes everything look a little bit more lit from within instead of like, oh my god, there's a bunch of shimmer on her face. I really like this eye look, but I hate this mascara. And I want to curl my eyelashes again. Okay, I'm going to. My eyelashes like kind of like stick out straight and then wet mascaras just make them heavier. So I kind of have to curl them once the product is already on. That's a little bit better. There, that's better. But still not my favorite mascara, but I do like the purple eyeshadow. Last but not least, I'm going to try a new lip product, which let me dab off my chapstick. Just get a little bit of hydration in there. But this is, I don't know, the Dior Addict Lip Glow in 001 pink. Now the packaging is literally incredible. Also got this off of Octoly. They have a lot of Dior stuff on there. It is so freaking cute. How do you twist it up? Oh, there we go. It's just a little tight. So cute. And I really wanted to try this because I love my um, Dior Creme de Rose lip balm that I use at night. It's ridiculously expensive, but I love it. But um, I wanted to try another lip product and I think this is one of the ones that like tints different colors depending on your lips or whatever. So let's see. It feels nice. Oh, and it's already turning pink. Do you see that? Ooh, clashing with the eye look though. Clashing with the eye look. Okay, so I really like that. This is gonna be great to keep in my like bag for travel for summer. Cause it's just like a little bit of like a sheen and a little bit of pink color, but I hate the way it looks with the eyeshadow. So good thing I have a paper towel here. <laughs> so we're just gonna do what I normally do and just put a little bit of gloss in the last video, everybody's like, you forgot a lip product. And I was like, no, I just don't love lip products. Just a little bit of gloss. And there we go! Okay guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed doing this video. This was fun. Just testing out a bunch of products and going out of my comfort zone with some purple eyeshadow. I thought it was fun. So yeah, I'll have all these linked down below if you want to check them out or whatever. I love you guys. I hope you'll subscribe. You can click my little face right up there in that corner to be subscribed. And I'll have some videos and such down here and my social media links will be up in that corner. And I love you guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know. It really helps out my channel. And I will talk to you guys next time.